Welcome to Ignite to Impact, a weekly podcast that explores what it takes to make your community, our nation, and the world a better place. You've tuned in to be inspired and enlightened as we pull back the curtain and dive into intimate and energetic conversations with achievers and doers. We are talking with leaders who are in the trenches making phenomenal changes through business, nonprofits, education, and the arts. Our goal? To encourage, motivate, and challenge you to go to the next level in leadership. Now, here's your host, Master Leadership Strategist, Dr. Geneva Williams. So, let's ignite to impact. Greetings from Detroit. I'm Dr. Geneva. This is the Ignite to Impact podcast. I'm saying hello to you from the Motor City, uh, Detroit, and I'm here in the voiceover production studio with the fabulous, awesome Gerald McBride. Yes, the world will get no better if we just let it be. That Wake Up Everybody song by Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes put out in 1975 with Teddy Pendergrass as the lead vocals says it all about Ignite to Impact, taking action to create a better world. This Ignite to Impact podcast is conversations about making the world a better place. Every week, we'll bring inspiring stories, people from all walks of life, hearing from them, entrepreneurs, teachers, nonprofit executives, artists, everyday folk unleashing their leadership to solve problems in their communities. Yes, they're creating change and leaving impact. They're fighting hunger, finding ways to end homelessness, helping children learn to read, working to eliminate poverty. They're working on education, race relations, transportation, crime. And we're going to travel around the country, learn what real leaders do day to day, how they ignite collaboration, how they use leadership to create community change, how they turn bad situations around and still stay excited about their own journey in leadership. And we'll discover how these leaders build legacy to create everlasting impact. Now, leadership comes in many forms and shapes. I believe it doesn't matter who you are, what you do, or where you live. Everyone has the ability to lead. Leadership is about influencing others to do something, to act, complete a task, follow a dream. Everyone is called on to lead in some way, sometime in life. Ignite to Impact brings to you those leaders who are change agents and making things better than they found them. You'll get a real life view of what it means to ignite to impact. So you might be asking me, well, Dr. Geneva, why do you think this podcast is important? Well, it's important I have to start with first from where I just come from, and it comes to me naturally. And in leadership, I saw at watching my mom and dad, and I learned at a very young age how leadership can really change a community, you know, how it can make a difference in the lives of others. I, um, my, my, my parents were civil rights advocates working in education, housing, employment. Now, they were ordinary people. They just happened to do extraordinary things. My mom was a teacher. She taught first grade for many, many years. She was a teacher excellence. I mean, in fact, I go home today, 50, 60 years later since she's been out of the classroom and I'll run into people who say, you know, Ms. Jones, I remember her. I had her when I was in first grade. They remember her because she she was just that teacher of all teachers. But she taught for several years, many, many years, and then she uh, headed up her union and then she went over to the other side and ran for the school board and became part of policy. And everything she did was about being the best that she could be. And she would teach and I'd see her working during the day and at night, 
I'd come home and she'd be at meetings working in the community. And she was joined by my dad, who was a civil rights advocate as well. And and they both worked on issues in housing and employment and really wanted to see big change. They wanted to improve the conditions preventing the people that they knew from enjoying the freedom and prosperity that they believe America has. And you know, on the day that the New Jersey Supreme Court decided the landmark case with which my parents made history in New Jersey. My dad turned to me and said, yes, he was happy. He had achieved a personal victory. But what was more important to him was the difference it made for all people and how now, because of the result of his advocacy, from the result of him trying to make a difference, he had cleared the way for anyone in the state of New Jersey to be able to live where they wanted to live. So you see, I learned at a very young age about community change and how there's a responsibility not only to do what you can to make change, but also to help other people, to give back that reciprocity. I learned about leadership and legacy. So that really brings me to why I think this podcast is important and why I want to bring you leaders who inspire action and can help inspire you to action. So you see, my career has been about working in community with community change. Again, following the example of my mom and dad and what they taught me, but also many, many, many people that I saw in my community growing up. I started my career in the streets of Philadelphia working with uh, gangs, young gangs, and and judges, (laughs) trying to bring the two groups together uh, to find ways, innovative ways, different ways, to try to keep young people out of jail and try to put them on the right path. And so this whole process of bringing together people to work on different kinds of people now, to work on solutions to community problems, really was something I started out with. I then came to Detroit and started with uh, the United Way as a community organizer, a community problem solver. Uh, Some people might ask, well, what is a community problem solver? Basically, it's it's the kind of work that brings you uh, in contact with all kinds of people who are trying to work on problems in the community, housing, homelessness, transportation, just the list of problems can go on and on. And you try to work with them and you try to identify what the problems are and the causes are and try to figure out together what the solutions are. And it just takes you into a lot of fabulous, awesome places with a lot of great people. So I did that for many, many years with the United Way. And then I went on the other side. I began to uh, lead various uh, departments and efforts and initiatives within the organization and finally ended up leading the United Way uh, as the first female executive. And that took me into a whole new realm of leadership, executive leadership. And I was blessed to learn a lot of lessons and meet a lot of people. And along the way, I learned even more about and practiced and studied collaboration, which I think is an essential ingredient of leadership. And that is just not going out there and doing it alone by yourself, though you can, but really the dynamic part of synergy and working together with others. That's collaboration. And so I became a Um, a collaboration expert and a practitioner. And and so that's what my life has been about. My my husband, Otha, uh, used to tell me all the time that I was his philanthropic contribution. I mean, when people used to come to him, now he was a businessman and he was about making money. And so when people would come to him to try to get him engaged in Um, various kinds of community activities or volunteer for service, he would say, uh, go see 
my wife. Uh, she's my philanthropic contribution. Uh, she's the person that I give to you. And he would always say to me, uh, gee, what you are, were put here to do was to help the people. So go ahead and help the people. And so that's been my career. Now, Otha, my husband, passed recently. Uh, in fact, during the past couple of years, I lost both him and my parents. And so, you know, it's been tough times uh, for me, but I know many of you who are hearing my voice, you know, you've gone through tough times too. Everyone does. And and I think when you go through these times, you learn some things. Um, and one of the things that I... I learned about was that dash that's in between the year that you were born and the year that you pass away. And so I've had to write in these past couple of years several obituaries. And I found myself really thinking about that dash, that horizontal stroke that says, so from the year you were born to the year you pass. And really, that dash is what's real important. And when you open the cover, when you open the obituary and you read everything that's in there, that's really what life is about. How, what you say, what that dash is, what you do, what you contribute, how you remembered. And that made me say... I need to do this show. And so before this show, I decided to have some conversations with leaders all around the country. And I did. I did close to 60 podcasts with leaders from city, various cities, all about leadership. Um, we talked about power networking, visioning, career preparation, life work balance, leadership development, tips and tools and techniques to help you succeed at work and in your business. Now, these were some awesome conversations, and you can go check them out on iTunes under Dr. Geneva Speaks. And I appreciate all those leaders. I was grateful, and I learned so much, and I know my listeners did too. But you know what? As I reflected on those multiple losses in my life and thought about that dash, I said, you know what? I want to do more. I want to bring what I know from my life's work to teach and inspire others to tackle the issues in their cities, to get engaged, to make this world a better place. You know, uh, a few weeks ago, well, a few weeks ago, yes, my um, producer, Pam Perry, called me and said, listen quick, President Obama is on the radio and he's at the University of Chicago and he's talking about, in his first speech returning to public life, he was talking about the importance of passing the baton to young leaders and encouraging them and others to be active in their communities. So the timing is just so right and that's what I I want to do. So we're going to have all kinds of guests. We're going to travel around the country, um, uh, get lots of insight on leadership, how you build it, will it work in various communities. And let me tell you, let me give you a peek at some of the topics we're going to focus on to help you unleash your ability to use leadership skills to create change. And I want to use the letters from the word ignite so that you can remember what's in store. So that I, imagine your desired outcomes. Visualize what could be, not what is. We're going to talk a lot about visioning and how when you master visioning strategies, you can become an expert at solution-oriented things and you can shape everyday reality and have impact. And we're going to explore the social issues that are out there so that you know what it is that you can dream about could be better. Um, one of my podcasts uh, on Dr. Geneva Speaks talked about lead poisoning, and we spent a lot of time dissecting that social issue so you can understand what it's about, so you can visualize and figure out how you can make a difference. So we're going to do that, too. G. 
get your purpose on. I'm telling you, in all the conversations I've had with leaders, almost every one of them talk about this idea about purpose, your raison d'etre, knowing what your assignment is, being clear on what purpose is because you can empower yourself with the confidence with confidence and focus to influence others so that's a very important aspect of what we're going to be talking about N, the N in Ignite, navigate turbulent times. Hey, look, leadership is tough. And learning how to master the social, political, and personal dynamics in the community will help you steer right through those troubled waters and gain the force to put you on top and help create change. So we'll be learning about ways to navigate those turbulent times. I inspire others. If leadership is about nothing, it is about influencing people to do something, to act, to follow a dream, and developing that incredible ability to communicate and collaborate. So we're going to spend a lot of time talking with leaders about how they talk and speak and work together, how they listen, learn, and then lead. That T in Ignite, Train like a champion, I believe, and we're going to talk about that. You know, athletes and successful champions practice all the time so they can do what they do without thinking. It's called muscle memory and comes about with practice, practice, practice. And I believe leadership is a learn by doing activity that you can practice to build that inner strength. And so we'll learn from the folk we talk to how they develop their muscle memory. And then finally, the E and Ignite Exit with legacy. Walk away from every encounter, leaving something of meaningful value. I believe in that so much. And we'll be talking to leaders and have lots of conversations about legacy and how you can be tapped on your shoulder or called to make an impact on future generations and how important it is to give of your time, talent, and treasure because we'll be talking about financial contributions too and how you can make your dollar work in solving problems, community problems. So you are, you're building a legacy, you're making a difference, and you're leading. You will be leading by example with excellence. So in closing, I just want to let you know how excited I am to be here doing this weekly podcast. You'll be able to find me on iTunes, and we're just so delighted. I have a website, drgenevaspeaks.com. Go there to see me, and it's just going to be extraordinary how we talk and have conversations with ordinary people doing extraordinary things. And I'll leave you with one of my favorite African proverbs. I have a lot of them, but one of my favorite one is when a spider webs unite, they can tie up a lion. And I want you to know that on Ignite to Impact, we'll be ex- inspired and make a difference. You've been listening to Ignite to Impact. Your host is Dr. Geneva Williams, an award-winning executive, facilitator, and master leadership strategist. Dr. Geneva is dedicated to inspiring others to get their leadership on and equipping the next generation with leadership tools and tips to help make the world a better place. Sign up to download Dr. Geneva's mini ebook on leadership. Get the show notes, links, and other resources at drgenevaspeaks.com. That's drgenevaspeaks.com. Thanks for listening. Please share the podcast to those in your community via Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, or Google+. And leave us a five-star review in iTunes. When you do that, it helps others find the podcast easier. Send your questions or comments to info at drgenevaspeaks.com.